Asthma is a chronic inflammatory disease with attacks leading to a narrowing of the airways. About 8% of the adult population in our part of the world suffer from asthma. Most of them have allergy-related asthma. In adulthood, about two-thirds of all sufferers have allergy-related asthma. The rest have non-allergy-related asthma. So if there isn't too long a delay before diagnosis and therapy, there's a good chance of stopping the disease, or at least preventing it from becoming chronic. This includes training with inhalation drugs, which play a major role in the treatment of asthma. Every patient should know what the drugs contain and how they should be used. The most important thing Drugs, when they're necessary, must be taken consistently. It's no good if you stop taking them when things get better. Of course, it's natural for people to do so. Patients need to learn that they're not fighting against the drugs, but against the disease. Here, at this altitude, there are no allergy-causing dust mites, for example, less pollen and mildew, and less pollution. So the therapy often gets faster results also for these young allergy sufferers. They are between 18 and 25 and participating in a four-week summer camp. Team building is on the program and there is plenty of sport to help them learn to deal with exertion and find out how far they can push themselves. The most common deaths through allergic asthma occur when children become independent, when they no longer want to be spoon-fed by their parents, take this now and do this now, when they feel they've had enough. Then there are quite a number of deaths. So we need to work with this age group quite a lot. And we have the impression that it's really good for them and they really enjoy it. The Alpine Clinic Davos doesn't only treat a large number of young adults, it also has nearly 200 beds for children. Asthma is the most common chronic childhood disease today. The inflamed bronchi constrict, mucous membranes swell and spasms occur in the irritated wall muscles. This can result in a severe shortage of breath, often accompanied by fear of suffocation. It is important for diagnosis and subsequent therapy to know which allergens are responsible for asthma. Blood tests help to find out where the problem lies, which allergens trigger the disease. Thanks to the Christine Kuhner Foundation, Davos has the most modern methods of analysis. These can provide something like a fingerprint of the patient. 112 different allergens and allergen components can be analyzed. The fewer points light up, the better. Forecasting the progression of the disease is difficult, though. The more allergies a person has, the less likely it is that the condition will disappear. Also, when young people are going through puberty, things can go up and down. Often they have fewer problems, but sometimes more. And it can also happen that a child who never had any allergies suddenly has one as an adult. You can't predict what will happen. 12-year-old Adrian has had to live with various allergies. He has eczema and hay fever, is allergic to different foods, to dust mites, cat and horse hair, and has allergic asthma. In lung function tests, the airflow is measured while the patient is breathing. In this way, doctors can find out whether a bronchi expanding drug is having the desired effect. Lung function tests are an extremely valuable analytical tool in the treatment of bronchial asthma. 
In young children, this analysis was quite difficult to perform until recently. Research has enabled lung function equipment to be improved so that even small children can be more effectively tested. We then have additional objective findings and can provide more effective therapy. Bronchial asthma often begins in early childhood. So far, it has often remained undetected. These tests are extremely valuable to avoid short-term and, above all, long-term damage. The Alpine Clinic places great emphasis on teaching children at a very early age what causes their disease and how they can best deal with it. In addition to their normal schooling, they also receive disease-related training. Special teaching aids help the children understand what is not working in their body compared to healthy people. They find out what triggers an allergy and what hay fever and asthma are. Christian Geidel wants the same for all children as he does for Adrian. That they can become a specialist where their illness is concerned. So in situations where it gets worse, they can feel in the beginning that an asthma attack is starting and understand better what's going on and react faster. In addition, they can learn from their peer group. How do others deal with it? Mutual learning and teaching is also very important during their time here. What is learned is also implemented through play. For example, by attempting to bring the mucus out of the bronchi with a mole. Anyone who has ever crawled through a bronchial tube does not forget so quickly what goes on there. Knowing as much and as early as possible about their own illness is one of the prerequisites to successfully coping with bronchial asthma and other allergic complaints. This applies not only here at the Alpine Clinic in Davos, but also outside in everyday life. Far too many people today do not respond to the first warning signs and still take allergies far too lightly. Allergies are still trivialized. You hear people say things like, you'll get over that without any problem. Don't worry about a little bit of hay fever. But this is an issue we have to tackle together. The medical profession, journalists, all of us.